What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I am so excited to say I'm joined by one of the stars of Netflix's new shows, Buying Beverly Hills. Sonica Vade is joining me. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Sonica, thank you so much. I was such a fan of you and I was such a fan of Buying Beverly Hills this season. So congratulations. Thank you so much. It was crazy. <laughs> Given you only got your real estate license a few months before and then you auditioned for the show and then a year later. So you didn't really have much time to be a real estate agent without the cameras on you. So we kind of see in the show, you are learning as we are watching. You know what I mean? So how was yeah. that? Was that a really intimidating process for you? Yeah, I was like put on the spot immediately. So I was just so out of my comfort zone, but it kind of helped me in like my actual life. Um, like for example, we had this scene where John, who's the head of my team, he walks Brandon and I through this like multi-million dollar home. And I, I'm, we're both just starting. And he was like showing us how to show the home and what to say and different features. And then he goes, oh, we have somebody stopping by. And I'm like, holy crap, like what, like what, who's coming? And so Mauricio shows up and in normal circumstances, you're never like pitching yourself. I guess as an agent, you kind of are like selling, you know, who you are to people and showing them like, hey, like you can trust me, this and that. But we had to straight up like pitch him and be like, I think I should show you the home because or that I've never had to do that. But doing it for our CEO, like I was sweating bullets. Like it was so nerve wracking and honestly, so embarrassing to watch back. Cause I said, um, probably like a thousand times. Tell me about your love for music and how it started. I worked with somebody who I've been working with since I was 19. Uh, his name is Ryan and he's a very talented songwriter and I've, I still work with him to this day. I actually have a session with him in a couple days. Um, but I've recently, so I, I had released music in the past and now uh, during COVID, I learned how to produce and how to like create a song on my own. I'm not like a top tier producer, but I know how to kind of create something. Um, so Ryan and I have been working just us two on making the tracks, writing the song, and putting it out. And I used to think so much about, you know, cause when you put a song out, it's like like literally putting a piece of your soul out there for people to see and it's so nerve wracking. And I am an overthinker. So I don't have a ton of music out. And I just put out this song called Lost um, a month ago. And I'm like not giving it like a monetary push just because I just want to see how it does on its own first. and there's there's a lot of politics with that and I just don't believe that you need to pay for people to like listen to your music I would just rather it organically happen um and we are so we just dropped another song actually two days ago and I'm gonna be like taking a video for it today but uh, it's called all you know and both of these songs completely produced by us written by us like it, it's it's crazy what you can do when you put your mind to something this first songs you put out are very important to an artist's career. So tell me why yeah. you went with these songs. I think in writing Lost, I feel like I found my direction, which is so ironic because the song is called Lost. And I, and for all you know, the, the song that just came out a couple of days ago, I wrote this about my recent last relationship. He's actually on the show uh, for a brief moment. Um, but you know, the song was talking about like feeling comfort in a relationship and more so like do you actually feel like you can spend the rest of your life with this person or do you feel like you genuinely love this person uh or is it just something that you just like know how to say is that like all you know how to say to me you know um so yeah that's really where the inspiration came from that one but i just i love the 80s vibe right now and i don't i don't know if it's gonna last but for right now, it's like, I'm so in love with it. <laughs> you know, what's next for Sonica? What can we be expecting? You said you're shooting a music video today. I'll be doing that today. And then I, I, I mean, I'm selling homes too. So if you guys want to buy a home, I can do that. 
Um, but I, you know, I'm really focusing on on both, and people think it's like so hard to like have a plan A and plan B. I don't think I think they're both plan A to me. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm really doing both, and I have more music coming out. I'm releasing. I have like probably six uh, songs in the pipeline right now. So I I'm gonna be releasing those. I'll probably do like one a month just to kind of space it out because it's so easy for me to just be like take it all but you gotta like space it out like that i guess buying beverly hills are we filming a season two already or or is that on hold for a bit i think things are coming along but i'm not sure i don't know uh there's no confirmation so all i can do is hope love to love to put my life out there <laughs> fingers crossed we love I you you are so sweet you're one of my favorites this this season truly i loved following your journey and we are rooting for you everyone at home make sure you guys are checking out sonica vade's new music go follow her on instagram twitter and tiktok sonica it is a pleasure you are so sweet thank you so much for joining me today Thank you so much for having me. So much Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. And everyone at home, make sure you guys are giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to Sweetie High down below. As always, I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and we will see you guys next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.